welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am super excited because uh, it is all about mums. Mother Day is coming up soon, next Sunday, and I wanted to create something fun and cute for my mom. So if you want to make uh, something special for your mom, um, just follow, uh, follow along. Uh, with me. Uh, if you haven't checked my previous videos, do check them out. Um, and uh, if if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So today, as I said, is about Mother's Day and I will be drawing a really cute mother and baby uh, giraffe. I took the reference photo from uh, Pixabay. Really, again, amazing uh, website for reference photos. And I will be using watercolors uh, and other media such as uh, pencils and markers and, and so on. So if you want to draw along with me something cute for your mom, follow along and let's get into this. I already sketched the outline of the two giraffes and I went in with the aquarel graphite pencils 2B and 4B to put down the dark values. If you haven't seen my previous video on how I painted a lion in watercolors, I would suggest checking it out because in there I explain better why uh, it is worthwhile sharing your sketch first with um, graphite uh, pencils and if you are doing a watercolor uh, um, drawing then I would suggest uh, using aquarelle so that you can go in with a wet brush and, um, and shade uh, everything. The main colors that I'm using for the mother giraffes are purple and violet for the uh, brighter regions and ultramarine and turquoise for the darker uh, values. I first use a quite diluted uh, wash to get the first layers right and then I uh, go back in with more uh, pigment. On the other hand, for the baby giraffe, I'm using a cramine and brilliant red and a bit of burnt sienna and burnt amber for the dark values and orange, crimson, brilliant yellow and brilliant ochre for the brighter regions. And the technique and the procedure is the same. So at the beginning, the, the first layers have more water and, they, and then they have more and more uh, pigment towards the end. Silence fades into the night Coyotes sing at the moonlight 
light These open highways are calling our name And now it's time for us to escape Feel the wind touch our face Let's take a spin to a foreign place These open highways are calling our name And now it's time for us to escape Escape Whereas I used a bigger brushes for the first layers, in particular uh, the brush nine, 9 round from Faber Castell and flat 14 from Windsor and Newton, for the spots I'm using smaller brushes, ProArt 1 8 and uh, 3 0. The colors for the spots are the same as the, the base, and I'm just basically following. Uh, the, the shadows and the, the highlights that I've already uh, put in. And I do the same for both the mother and the baby giraffes.
Lastly, I'm adding details with the XS markers and I'm also uh, brightening up some areas and spots with white acrylic but you can also use a whitewash and at this moment is also good to use colloc pencils if you want to darken up uh, some areas or if you want to put down some more uh, colors but you don't want to use uh, watercolors. And then we are basically done. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and to, to subscribe to my channel. Also, uh, check out my Instagram page, which is Hat Sophie Dash Pinguino, and my art blog, where we can chat uh, more deeply about art. And until next video, I wish you a really good week and bye bye. Yeah. <laughs>